All right, uh, today what we're going to do will be I will show you guys actually how to actually create a death map uh, just by using a JPEG or a PNG file. All right, so I'm going to do a solid or no seal stamp, right? So first of all, we will, okay, how are we going to come down to here? So I will show you the steps. So down here on the X2 Archimine, okay, uh, there is a couple of, uh, we just have to come into the embossment down here, all right? So this only applies to the Ultra, right? So uh, this will actually create an embossment file. So by using, once you click the embossment, uh, this will be the screen that you are getting. So what we do is we'll just actually have to upload an image, right? So you just upload an image, you just click the upload, Okay, and I will come into the folder. All right, so this is the one. Okay, so this is the wedding uh, stamp. So they are in JPEG format. So you just upload, right? So after you upload this, right? Uh, you can actually set the aspect ratio at 1-1. One, one. So, uh, okay, I click OK. All right, so it's actually uploading the file. Okay, so there are actually two versions down here, the techniques. Either you want to do the embossment or you want to do the, the boss. Right, so uh, I just want, uh, practically I want to do the uh, the boss down here. So I just click onto the the boss, right? And you just a very simple thing, just click onto the generate down here. Okay. So once you click onto the generate, it will actually generate a file. Okay. So this is what you get. Right. So uh, you can be able to check the the three D of it by clicking down here. So it will actually give you a. Uh, stimulation of how it looks like all right so this is how the deboss looks like okay, you can actually check around okay all right so you get it then um, if you are happy with it so we will need to actually attach or we actually import it into the our XCS program so very simple by just clicking this down here this little icon import to canvas so once you actually click on okay it's really on your your canvas so i will just size it so you okay so i can do size okay bring it back so basically from here you can be able to resize or to actually select your sizes by actually this down here so maybe if you want to actually do a 20 mm by 20 mm just click 20 we hit enter it will actually go 20 by 20 so i will just zoom it out okay so this is the embossment or death map file uh, you get from it's a very simple easy no fuss uh, just using the artimine ai generator it will actually generate a death map for you very easily so you don't actually have to crack your head how are you going to create a death uh, map file so it's everything has been pre-done it's ready and it's basically for you to make full use of it if you are actually using a f1 ultra okay okay guys uh today what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do this onto a brass cylinder stamp right so we will actually engrave uh, a stamp down here all right but i'm now I'm, what i'm gonna do is i'm i just um, gonna show you the process of them then I, I will actually show you how to create this file using the ultimine all right this is an embossment that map file that I created, okay, and uh, I already put onto the base. It's down there, all right. So uh, I already took the the image of them, okay. So basically, it's, it's you just have to hit the refresh button down here, okay. Then the the image has been taken. Then you do actually auto measure it. So what happens is uh, the light has been turned on, and then you actually do the uh, auto focus down here. Alright, so after it's being focused, uh, it's stated down here 11.5 Then you need to actually drag your file, okay, on top of the uh, stamp, okay, the blank stamp, right? Then uh, what we need to do is, okay, we will actually set the, the settings, alright? I'll come into the easy panel down here, I will go into the fiber, okay? There are 256 layers, the power, it's, uh, I go into 100% the speed I'm going to go with is um, 500 millimeter per second. Okay, the lines per C and for this I'm going to go at 240. Okay, uh, engraving angle is 15. The frequency you just leave it at 30. Do make sure to check onto the Z axis. Okay, you turn this on. The reason you need to turn it on is while it's actually 
uh, doing the engraving all the way downwards. B whole unit, the, the whole Z unit, that means the whole module, will actually slightly it will actually move down in order to be able to focus onto the, the stem, okay, the brass stem. So in order to, for it to engrave a uh, debossing or embossing down here, it will keep on going down. That means the, the whole module will actually uh, slightly it will go down in order to focus and engrave deep inside the brass. Okay? Then to, um, from here, you can do your framing, okay? Um, I'm going to go into the process. Okay, so let's see how long it takes. It's down here, the time is 1 hour and uh, 12 minutes. Okay, and I'm going to go into start. So it's actually sending the file over to the machine via Wi-Fi. So let's see. Onto the, onto the controller. Okay, the controller down here, it will actually notify, yes, um, it's sending. So that is the file. You just have to, have to press the, the X2, it will actually start to... Okay, there you go. So it's actually start to, to engrave. I will cover the, the protective shield. Okay, let it do its work. So it will take about 1 hour and 10 minutes or so. So we will come back.